All right, Impacta. Are you a Decepticon or an Autobot? Optimus, Optimus, we need your help again. Yo, aren't you short for a prime? Hello and welcome back, Transformer TCG friends. Um, I have a few cards here actually printed out and everything. So let, let's get right into it. Right here we have Robo Insecticide. Um, it is a hybrid. It's a, okay, this is different. Let's see if we can get up pretty close. Blank and blue. Um, my official one has the blue on the left, not the right. Um, so it does look a little better. And in the same vein as... Uh, whoa, sorry. I'm in the car. I like Targeted and other cards like this. You know, Targeted I made is, is a black... Decepticon, so it's a Decepticon uh, style card here. She's one, one, your chosen character has plus one to attack and pierce one until end of turn. If your chosen attacker is Megatron, it turns into like a calculated strike, plus two, pierce two. When the defender is Optimus Prime, it could be any Optimus Prime, not primal, but Optimus Prime. Uh, your character gets. Uh, this action card is, turns into the equivalent of a fusion bor borer. Uh, so, you know, if you remember this, insecticide isn't too dissimilar. Um, except instead of, and actually targeted, is a black and blue uh, hybrid with the Decepticon trait on it. Uh, a robo insecticide is not. It's only an Autobot card because you're going to be able to do damage to enemy Decepticons. Uh, so it's, you know, blue and blank. Um, do one damage to each enemy Insecticon in alt mode. So they have to be in alt mode. Do one more to each enemy Insecticon. Uh, I have this corrected on, 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 on the digital so it shows do one damage to each enemy insecticon the decepticon in alt mode do one more damage to each enemy insecticon now this is interesting because if they're not playing decepticons you can still get some decent non non attack damage to their characters in alt mode um you know if it's it's so it may not be as strong as say an armed hovercraft uh, and since we have two two different things going on here you know it is kind of a hybrid unusual pip here blank and blue or blue and blank actually uh, but insecticons are a different breed of decepticons insecticons have that trait on both sides if if you've noticed that on the official characters they are an insecticon in alt mode they have the Insecticon trait in bot mode. So, either way, those characters are going to get uh, two damage from the Robo Insecticide. Uh, all other Decepticons have to be in alt mode, and you can also get one damage on them. So, it's not as strong as, say, uh, as a uh, armed hovercraft. But when the case is, is set up, this might be a, 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 a decent, maybe, sideboard card. Um, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, those Insecticons, if they're playing nothing but Insecticons, yeah, this is going to do two damage to all their characters. Uh, ouch. So, you know, you may not need this. It might be good, useful. It may not be useful. Robo Insecticide. Um, I got some others in here that are not mine. Uh, Energon Hustlers and in the Ark uh, that I have some printed out. Let's look at, and I never thought I would do this, but we have more hybrid secret actions. More correctly, secret action hybrid. 
and I, I, I have thought about correcting that, but as, as uh, much of a pain as it is doing this, I just copied it right off the other cards. I didn't think I was going to be making any more, of the, any more of these. I really didn't think I would. But here we have another secret action hybrid. How do these work again? Well, kind of like a rolling act, unlike a rolling action, but it plays more like a secret action. But you can play it as an action or a secret action. Play this card face up or face down. At the end of your opponent's turn, put it into your scrap pile. So, excuse me, I'm trying to lower my voice a little bit here. So, the Robo Smasher here is a blank pip card because it has some. It can be either a weak uh, a card like a zap, and I almost gave this a uh, an orange pip, but I'm like, no, the possibility of it being it pretty strong is why is it why it's mostly blank, and why the other other card, where to put it, my my robo insecticide is half blank half blue, um, which gives you some options. You know, well, who is it? Skywarp or whoever that you know can, um, or one of the one of the original uh, Decepticon planes. You know, you you know you flip and you can pull some blank pip cards out of your scrap. So that is sort of the beauty of that. Where, where is that again? Um, when this is flipped, you have to call it one or the other. When it is in your scrap. It's both. It's a blank and a blue. Okay? Uh, but it's an action card, not an upgrade. So you can't get this uh, out of your scrap, say, if you're playing base cards and you use that underground transport, uh, scrap it, you know, and pull a, a blue pip upgrade out of your scrap and your, and your opponent gets to do the same thing. Not the same. Okay. Robo Smasher. I'm sorry guys like I said I'm in the car this is the best thing that I have and it's yeah the uh, the, the new uh, so the, the the new uh, uh, I had it for some some reading stuff and my son is oh crap is uh, ha having a, a music lesson right now so Okay, let, let's get back to the Robo Smasher here. You play it as an action. Do one to an enemy. Do one damage to an enemy. Eh, it's a zap. You know, it's not very strong. But the, that's only worth it if you don't have this set up. So reveal when one... If you play this as a secret action. Reveal when one of your Decepticon leaders defends. When revealed, do two damage to an enemy Autobot couple of things here if you are needing secret actions just in play and this you in they're playing decepticons uh this might be a good uh, you know sideboard far, fodder i don't know but at the same time you know, at least it'll be a secret action because it's also a secret action it's also an action thus the hybrid nature of this type of card but that's the nice impact is say you just had your Megatron or Shockwave or Soundwave attack. They are tapped. You pull this uh, and you draw it and you're like, oh, I got the Robo Smasher. And you're like, well, um, are they going to go into my Decepticon leader? Uh, now I get to play, you know, tap an attack with someone else. It's kind of a gamble. This may not happen, may or may not happen. They may not be attacking you with an Autobot. Uh, their their team may not be all Autobots. You know, it's a little bit of a Russian roulette here to some extent. But if that happens, it's a nice setup to get two damage to an enemy. Uh, you're playing with the whole Decepticon team, and some of them are not leaders. Another reason to have the floating throne in your deck. So there is that. Um you know, when when you play it, uh, it's immediate. So yeah, it can stay out there for the whole th whole time, uh, face up like this until your opponent, the end of your opponent's turn. Then it can go in the scrap, but it's not really doing anything. Just go ahead and scrap it. But if there's something you need for um, for 
for the the use of having a secret action face up or face down it would still be pertinent it would still be pertinent okay so there is that interesting tell me what you think about that if you like it or not let's look at one that i drew i, I actually drew this uh, a while back um energon chains and i've had this idea for quite a while um was thinking about how i wanted to do this and i think i like it let me know what you think this is another secret action hybrid hybrid pip color white and orange if you play this as an action when the defender flips more cards for battle than you flip two more for attack so remember you play this it's going to be out there until after their turn is over and then you scrap it because of this and the nature of the secret action part of the card so you put this out there when the defender flips more cards than you i didn't say for attack I, I, it should be heavily implied because then the if that's the if then the then statement flip two more for attack so you are attacking them say they have a, a heavy black and blue deck they have a lot of tough maybe they're using a base card or something to be able to get more uh, tough or whatever um, and they flip more than you do you can flip two more little strong but I like it um, so there's that if, if they flip three and you only flip two and you have no bold you get to flip two more you know as, as as a very simple example now the secret action reveal when one of your characters defends so that's pretty easy play it as a secret action when your character defends when revealed the attacker flips one less for attack so that remember they're attacking you if you're defending so they have i don't know say they have a, a uh, flamethrower and a supercharge and a supercharge in play and maybe the character itself has bold ones so they're flipping six more cards on top of their two uh so with with this it's going to only prevent one more from attacking could i use the word oppress i could have but since this seemed so significant to the secret action card itself and against them and not affecting you the word oppress didn't feel right here okay so this is inner john chains and yeah i drew that and i took the pink uh for the inner john chain from an image of the actual an inner john cube from the g1 show and used that color and i could have done a little better i could have done a lot better on the detail maybe the shading and I, i've just been so and i'll put it up here also digitally and it's you know, it could have been a little better. It's not bad. I'm not a bad artist. I'm just an impatient artist. How about that? Um, so, Inner John Chains. Tell me what you think. Um, it is an uncommon for for what it is. And all of a sudden, I, I I lost my. It's not very very clear. So let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. Um, how many more cards do we have? Eh, just one more but from some of the, um here's morphobots morphobots is a hybrid orange and green so if i say it wrong i still get it uh, right because i sometimes call these uh, the opposite colors another action card another action card with a lot of possibilities of non-attack damage of non-attack damage so let's see if i can get this back in that's a little eh, a little better sorry sorry for the unsteady hand guys do one dam damage to an enemy if this is your third morphobots do one damage to each enemy in bot mode you may play another morphobots these are the plants that were in the episode where the uh they they tricked the insecticons 
to go eat, eat them and that kind of tore them all up except for the original three it's kind of funny now the way i have this set up is i won't say ingenious i'm not going to put myself on a pedestal i'm not the a uh oh my goodness um i almost said blues on attack um i gotta cut my fingernails again um atp i'm not i'm not the atp guys but okay orange and green it's hybrid so you have to call it as you flip it so you can either get the the aggressive on the flip or you're like more for bots green i want to get this on the flip well then you have a conundrum because you're also letting your opponent know you have morpho bots in your deck so if you play three of these you're going to do one damage to each enemy in bot mode not only is this like a zap to where if you play one, you do get to do one damage to an enemy. Um, if you play all three, you can do one damage to an enemy. It doesn't have to be the same enemy. But then if you play all three, you get to do one damage to each enemy in bot mode. What this is doing, like I said, your opponent is playing you. You're there seeing these, uh, you flip these for battle. And trying to bite your tongue wanting to say uh, 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 green and so you're not you're you're not going to be getting the extra attack you're having to say green because you want to get it back on the flip okay if you call it orange you cannot get it on the flip from what i understand because of the na nature of a hybrid so you have to call it green in order to get to sw do the swap with one of your cards out of your deck so they're noticing you have Morpho bots. They're going to be trying to get all their characters in alt mode and getting those alt mode when this flips triggers also to probably get pulled off and also to avoid getting hit once you play all three of these. Okay, so even if you play all three Morpho bots, you may not, it, you, this may not trigger if they're all in alt mode but you still will get to do three damage to an enemy. Okay, now we do have the official card, Take Cover. Uh, th that's going to stop all of this. That's going to stop all of this uh, because you are their opponent's turn. If they take, one of their characters takes non-attack damage, then it, s it stops all non-attack damage from, from your cards that turn. So none of this is going to happen. Uh, insulated compound. Let's see how I worded this. When any of your characters is damaged by non-attack damage, reduce each of your characters non-attack damage by one. So this is a little tricky. I do one damage to an enemy. Reduce each of your characters' non-attack damage by one. So, I'm, in order to, um, this is kind of tricky how I worded this, guys. Um, so, if I let's say I play three of these, and they have a character with a lot of health, so I put all that damage on that one character. Say they have an, I don't know, say an Optimus. So I, I do one damage to an enemy, reduce each of your characters non-attack damage by one. But it doesn't say for turn. So it's the first damage is going to get nullified by Insulated Compound. The next two, then this, uh, this is going to do the first one, and then this is going to get scrapped because you didn't hit the, their other characters. So then you can do one damage to the same enemy. Do one damage to the same enemy. And the first damage pretty much takes out insulated compound. So if they have this in play and this gets revealed, then you're like, okay, I'm, you, you need, especially if they have a secret action in play, you need to, you know, it may may not be um, take cover. It may not be my insulated compound uh, or anything like that. 
but you might want to consider going all putting all your damage on one of their characters instead of spreading it thin um, so then if you once you play your third do one damage to each enemy in bot mode uh, don't do anything with insecticons here like i did with the robo insecticide um and i almost i almost did that i'm like oh, i've already done that so i'm not worried about it so this is now going to do one damage to, to each enemy in bot mode like i said once they start seeing you flipping these for battle and you're getting them in your in your hand they can try to prevent that uh, if they happen to have something like this or take cover, take cover is going to completely nullify all of this. Uh, insulated compound, not so much. Uh, it'll take off the first one, but that's when this gets scrapped, but not the rest. Okay, so something to think about. As kind of half of a zap card, but a stackable zap, zap card mixed in with the possibility of an armed hovercraft but again not as strong i kind of like this is there has anyone done a card like this i'm not sure um i just need to start swimming in atp's uh, website some more haven't been out there in a while but uh that's pretty much you know all i have right now let's see here yeah I'll, I'll, I'll just put it out here targeted we got the three morphobots we went over energon chains uh the robo smasher uh the robo insecticide and yeah we revisited insulated compound for the sake of of an kind of example and that's really all i have right now but i want to say thank y'all for for coming thank you for watching and listening i know a lot of people are looking for some more interesting cards i do not do stuff in waves i'm sorry i don't um but the the some of the next stuff that i'm really cooking up and it's taken me a while to do probably will be a wave to itself oh my gosh i've got in way over my head and speaking of that well this is this is all we wrote for today i'm going to say again thank you for coming thank you for uh, making it this far if you have throw scraplets at that like button and as always hey prime we're being attacked a shuttle was breached what should we do the decepticons are at full capacity ironhide run just run